Hello, uh, suppose you have just random numbers. I'll do uh, this with random sequence or random uh, rand array of rows of 10 rows. So you have just numbers. You don't know which is uh, what visually. So you cannot see it uh, visually. What would you do? Uh, I suggest you to go into menu format conditional formatting and you may know this but maybe not just in case use this color scale and I also suggest to find some beautiful scale for you this one works best for me now you see the biggest number is here the smallest is here so you can visually detect all your numbers we'll use this technique uh, for uh, our formula today the formula will be a sequence and it will be not usual sequence because usual sequence is uh, this you will see right now sequence equals sequence of 10 1 2 3 4 10 you see they are painted for me already so it's beautiful paint painted here but i want a sequence like this 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 and next as i want only 10 elements so 4 will go only once how to get this so we have this basic sequence how to uh, uh, get my sequence out of this basic sequence uh, we will use ceiling of division by four or three or any number let me show you ceiling is a minimum value after division ceiling of this divided by three is one and if I copy this formula, Ctrl C, select all, Ctrl V, you will see just sequence as I want it. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, and 4. Now we have this and this. Let's combine them to get uh, one formula. Uh, so basic is sequence, of course, sequence of 10. Or let it be just number from self, F1, and put 10 here and put 3 there. Uh, and I also paint this cell in gray color just to show you how we can change them and change our output next make it an array formula the best way uh, for me is index which makes this an array formula nothing changed but now we can work with this as an array and we can add this ceiling formula let me show you how just copy this ceiling instead of b2 you remember b2 is our original sequence instead of this b2 we'll put our sequence and next instead of this number three i want this number so now we can change it to four you can change it to 15. so what was the point in this painting now you will see if i paint all the range you will see the lowest numbers are painted uh, in white and this is four so you will see this beautiful uh, uh, beautiful visual visual for you then and also i want to get rid of these decimal uh, points places yeah now it looks like beautiful sequence and the final step will be we'll just create name function out of it We'll go to data, name functions, uh, the new function, call it sequence 111 because this is what, what I wanted to do. Uh, add this, click on F1 and it will be how many? Define and click on G2 is of number of chunks, no chunks that's it define click next click next because everything else is just optional so we now have this function called sequence 111 and we can use it in an other sheet in our spreadsheet equals sequence 111 how many 50 uh, number of comma number of chunks let be five okay so we have from 1 to 10 repeating sequence. That's it and thank you. See you soon.